Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. The Steam Deck has come and received good reviews, and in light of the positive reception, I've put down my deposit for one and... Oh. Well, I'm salty now. You know who else is salty? Besides GPD, that is. Nintendo. They are quite salty about the deck. So salty that they took down a video that showed users how to get Switch games to run on the deck via emulation. The YouTuber is the Fox, and I actually heard about him prior to this because one of you pointed him out to me, so thanks for that information. But let's get into the article. The popular handheld console and PC benchmarking YouTuber, the Fox, recently uploaded a video detailing his testing of the Yuzu Switch emulator on Steam Deck. While performance wasn't perfect just yet, Steam Deck could run games such as Super Mario Galaxy perfectly at a higher frame rate than Nintendo could, making it obvious that the Steam Deck is an incredibly potent emulation device. Nintendo, however, promptly reacted by taking the Fox's video down. Nintendo is coping big time. They could have stepped up by making a more capable device or provided enticing services that aren't strong-arming consumers, but no. They'd rather just release an OLED Switch that provides the same performance as the other models and create an expansion for their online service. They have no one to blame but themselves. While the fans are complacent with what they receive, they have been chomping at the bit when shown numerous fake rumors of a Switch Pro. The interest and likely demand is there. Yet Nintendo continues to rest on their laurels. Well, guess what? Papa Gabe is showing you how it's done. Nintendo never admitted that their Joy-Cons had a widespread problem. They just told people to send them in. Valve came out and said that due to a firmware bug, the deck had drift problems, but fixed it with an update shortly after. Nintendo doesn't want you poking around with the internals of the Switch. Valve makes it relatively simple for users to go in and make any repairs or replacements they might need. Additionally, they release the CAD files of the deck so people can 3D print parts of the handheld. They even partner with iFixit to sell replacement parts for the deck. Nintendo charges $20 for cloud saves. Valve lets you sync your data from your deck and have it ready to go on your PC and vice versa. And it's free. Let's get back to the article though. Nintendo is no stranger to using DMCA takedowns to fans of its intellectual properties. At the start of 2021, Nintendo removed hundreds of fan-made games from the internet in a wide-sweeping DMCA campaign. The company even has a dedicated team of legal infringement specialists that seek out projects and showcases to give all legally sold Nintendo games a chance to succeed. Ah uh, yes, Nintendo really needs the chance to succeed, guys. They're just a modest little indie company. They don't stand a chance against all these big publishers. Their devs are living off 100 yen ramen for crying out loud. Think of the little guy. Meanwhile, Valve has allowed Black Mesa, a fan game of their own Half-Life, to be sold on their store. Heck, they let Hunt Down the Freeman be sold on Steam. Sega also knows that if there's good talent, why not invest in it? Sonic Mania was a game made by fans of classic Sonic. Instead of issuing DMCA strikes, Sega gave those guys a job. Nintendo can't stop fan games just like they can't stop emulation. It's going to happen whether they like it or not. However, they have a choice in taking advantage of the opportunity given to them. Both Microsoft and Sony saw the PC market as a ripe source of revenue. Microsoft is releasing games day one on PC, and the gap between releases on PlayStation and PC is likely going to diminish. Nintendo could be jumping into the pool with everyone else and raking easy money from porting games to PC, but I guess that makes too much sense. And seeing how Nintendo would rather make a new F-Zero game, the chances of PC ports happening are virtually non-existent. There's one last part of the article I want to read. Though Nintendo seems to be fully intent on removing any and all traces of Nintendo Switch emulation on Steam Deck on the internet, it's worth pointing out that they're not likely to succeed. With both Yuzu and Ryujin's emulators likely to run well on Valve's handheld PC, the community is sure to spread the information far and wide, even if content creators end up avoiding the discussion. Exactly. And to reiterate my point, Nintendo cannot stop this. The internet is eternal. This might be an overused line, but it applies here. Cut off one head and two more will take its place. They shut down the main sources of AM2R and the Super Mario 64 PC port, but if you want either of those, you can find them. I found AM2R months after the takedown. Taking down this one video is not going to stop the information from spreading. When I get my Steam Deck later this year, likely around November or December, I'll make a video on Switch emulation on the deck. I don't care if it gets taken down, I want to make a point. But that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, I appreciate it. 
If you've managed to get a Steam Deck in your hands now, let me know how you're enjoying it so far. And if you haven't, when is yours expected to arrive? Let me know. So until next time everyone, I am Zarakon signing off. Have a good one.